Hey guys, I am back. We are getting closer to the official Galaxy Note 20 launch and the leaks are just coming left and right. Depending on how you view this video, this could blow your mind positively or in a negative way. We have two major, absolute major, major news to discuss in this video. Now, last time we talked about the full reveal of the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and review of the specs. We now know that the Note 20 Ultra will be the first phone in the world to use Gorilla Glass 7 protection. It's actually going to call as Gorilla Glass Victus and uh, it's going to be the most toughest smartphone glass ever made, making the Note 20 Ultra the strongest on the planet. It has twice the scratch resistance of Gorilla Glass 6, four times the resistance of any competing glass, and it can survive the drop test of up to 2 meters, which are roughly 6.5 foot, which is a lot actually. Very, very impressive stuff indeed. Samsung has really surprised me with this upgrade. I definitely didn't see this coming. We're most likely going to see the Gorilla Glass Victus on more phones, maybe the iPhone 12, who knows, but the Note 20 Ultra has secured the strongest thing which is the Gorilla Glass 7 aka Gorilla Glass Victus. Now along with that the wireless DeX is confirmed, the 9 millisecond S Pen performance is confirmed as well as the Exynos 990 processor. Now it's time for the Galaxy Note 20 model. Here are the full spec sheet in comparison to the Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 is rocking a 6.7 inch 1080p 60Hz AMOLED display. Yes it is indeed a full HD plus display. Absolutely flat, no edge at all. It's also rocking Exynos 990, Snapdragon 865 Plus for other markets. The camera is exactly similar to the Galaxy S20, 8 gigs of RAM, 4300 millimeter battery with fast charging speeds of 50% in just 30 minutes. We'll see four color options with the exclusive Mystic Green color. Now just like the Note 20 Ultra, the Note 20 is also getting the Xbox Cloud Gaming service, but it's not getting the Gorilla Glass 7. Instead, it will be using the Gorilla Glass 5 on the front. And yes, just on the front because this phone, prepare your mind to be blown, this phone is actually rocking a glass stick back. Yes, the Note 20 is actually using a glass stick back, that's kind of a combo they use on their Galaxy A series phone. Every day the Note 20 is becoming closer and closer to like an upper A series phone and honestly this is pretty shocking. The Note 20 is also rocking the old S Pen standard so it's not gonna have the 9 millisecond delay, instead it will be rocking the 25 millisecond delay. Now there is a good news regarding the pricing of the Note 20 family. According to the report, Samsung is looking to make both Note 20 and Note 20 Ultra affordable. Pricing might be very similar to last year's model, which means that the Note 20 Ultra could cost $1,200 as its starting price, which is actually really, really good considering everything that is packing. But with the normal Note 20, the 5G model could still start at $900, whereas the 4G variant will come at a cheaper price for sure. I do think that it will come closer to the $800 range, but then again, no 120Hz display, no proper glass back. It's almost like an upgrade to the Galaxy Note 10 Lite. Samsung should actually call this phone as Note 20 Lite because that actually fits more appropriate to everything that this phone is offering. I love you guys. I'm always going to be honest with you and in my honest opinion, the Note 20 doesn't feel like a very worthy phone of your money. You should actually wait for the Galaxy S Fan Edition, which is rumored to get 120Hz display, Snapdragon 865, all that good stuff coming later down the year. Or or you should just jump straight to the Note 20 Ultra which is looking great but then again the Exynos 990 is there for some markets which I know is going to be an issue. We have complained a lot but it turns out Samsung is actually very proud and apparently they're going to be using a tagline called the power of our own parts with the whole Note 20 lineup. Samsung is actually a creator company. They make their own displays, their camera sensors, RAM, memory and even circuit boards of their own phones and most importantly their own chips, the Exynos processors. Which is why Samsung will be using this marketing tagline, fully embracing the Exynos chipset and uh, other stuff that they do. And uh, yeah, it is what it is. I know people are mad, rightfully so, because it is unfair to them. Honestly, they should make the international models more affordable compared to the call conversions because of the difference in the performance. But again, that's unlikely to happen because Samsung doesn't really admit that there is the difference. They say that according to their testing, things are pretty even but we know they are not so the Galaxy Note 20 is having more downgrades than we initially
initially thought it's more like a Note 20 Lite in my opinion, but uh, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe with bell notifications on because there's going to be a lot more content in the coming days. Of course, I will be doing my own testing when the phone is out, hopefully around the time of the event. So be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.